Welcome to Bill's Bridge Corner, Wednesday, December 4th, 2013, Class 42, The Duck. No, I'm ta not talking about a bird, I'm talking about a play. It occurs both for the defender and for the declarer. Let's look at the situation. As declarer, let's suppose you're in a no-trump contract. It could also happen in a suit contract, but that's rather unusual. As declarer, you need to establish a suit in order to make enough tricks to make your contract, but you can't win them outright. You have to lose a trick in the suit somewhere along the line. You are also limited in the number of entries in the hand with the length in the suit in question. So how do you have to play the hand? In order to ensure the contract, you lead the suit but refuse to win an early trick in the suit to preserve an entry to the development of the suit in the long hand. Let's look at a live example. I am the dealer. Both sides are vulnerable. As I look at my hand, I'm too strong to open one no trump, so I open one diamond. The next hand passes. My partner bids two clubs. Pass on my right. And now we do not play two over one force, uh, game force. So I have 18 or 19 points. I just bid three no trump. And it goes pass. My partner passes. And my right hand opponent passes. I am in three no trump. The opening lead is the Jack of Hearts. Before I play to the first trick, I count my winners since I'm playing in no trump. I have one spade, three hearts, one club, and two diamonds. That's seven tricks. I need two more tricks. I might get them in spades, but the more likely place is in clubs. The clubs are likely to split 3-2. They may split 4-1. But in any case, I'm going to hope they split 3-2. I'm going to have to lose the lead once, and I need two entries to the clubs in order to establish them. Therefore, I'm going to have to duck a club early on in the hand. Let me start by winning the first trick with the King of Hearts, and immediately duck a club. This is a duck. Now, East has a choice. He could try spades or lead hearts. He knows that hearts are not going to work because of the opening lead. He knows that I have the ace queen of hearts. His better lead is a spade and his eight of, lead the eight of spades. Now, I know that I'm going to have to duck one more time in clubs. So I, it's a little dangerous for me to try a finesse here. It may actually fail me. I, can't, I can afford to lose a trick right now, so I'll play low. West will win the jack, but he now knows he doesn't want to lead spades, so he's going to lead hearts again. I win the trick in my hand, and now keep play. I duck again. I lead a club. to the ace, and now I clear the suit, losing a trick, but I maintain the ace of diamonds in dummy, so that I can get the lead later. Now at this point it really doesn't matter what ace plays, let's suppose that he plays a heart. I'm going to win. My hearts are open now, but it isn't going to matter. At this point, I go over to the dummy with the diamond. I've preserved the diamond entry, the ace of diamonds. And I have three good clubs, which I cash.
And the last two tricks I lead to my hand, making 10. Well played. The duck allowed me to make a trick. If I had won the ace prematurely, I would never had an entry to cash the clubs. That's the key to this hand. The next hand demonstrates the difference between duplicate and imp play. In this hand, the contract is again 3 no trump. And after a long hesitation, West leads the three of diamonds. Let's count tricks. We don't know how many spades we have. We have three hearts. We have at least three clubs, but both spades and diamonds are unknown. Now the club suit, we have eight clubs between us, so if they split three, two, we should have six club tricks. Together with three heart tricks, that's more than enough tricks. We're going to get at least one spade or one diamond to make the contract. Now the difference between playing an imp and playing in duplicate is that playing at duplicate, the odds are more than two to one in your favor that the clubs are going to split three two. And if that's so, you should play the clubs ace king queen and hope that they split. If they don't, you may go down, but everyone else will go down too. And if it doesn't, if they do split, then you'll you'll make your contract with over tricks. However, if you're playing an imp. The important thing is to duck a club, provided you can do so and not lose control of either spades or diamonds. That is the difference in the play between imp and duplicate. And it really shows itself in a situation where a duck is employed. The duck can also be used on defense. Consider the following hand. As east, you hold this hand. North deals a club. You overcall a heart. A little aggressive, but that's okay. South bids spade. North bids three hearts. The nerve. South bids three no trump. Partner leads the six of hearts, and dummy comes down with jack ten of hearts. What's your play? I hope you play the nine of hearts. Unless Declare is insane, he has Queen Third of Hearts. If you take the first heart, partner has one heart left, and if he ever gets a lead again and leads a second heart, you can win a second trick, but that will be it. Dummy will declare will win third trick and that will be it. If you duck, your partner ever gets in, he'll lead a second heart, which will Clear the suit and you'll end up with five heart tricks and set the declare a couple of tricks. But if you don't duck, declare is home free. Tomorrow, in class 43, we're going to begin a series on two suited overcalls. We'll begin with Michael's Q bid and the unusual no trump. See you tomorrow.